Hey guys, today we're back with another product review. And today on the channel, we're going to be reviewing the Core Essentials Brown Buffalo Leather Gun Belt. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Once again, today we're going to be reviewing the Core Essentials Brown uh, Buffalo Leather Gun Belt. This is uh, one that they have sent me to review. And if you all have been uh, watching the channel for a little bit of time, uh, Core Essentials was actually one of the first sponsors or actually people that actually sent us something to review. Um, but way back in probably 20, uh, 2018, 2019. So they've been a uh, family of the channel for a long time. And they, I was actually thinking about them the other day. And uh, the owner reached out to me again. He said, hey, you know, long time no see. Um, just checking on how you've been doing. We've seen that you've grown and we have as well. And we'd like to send you a few new things to review. And I was like, hey, yeah, I'd 100% be more than happy to. Uh, like I said, we go a long way back. And they was one of the first uh, actual sponsors of the channel to send me something to review. And I've always appreciated them and everything. And uh, to be honest with you, I've been using their products ever since I first received anything from them. And we'll get to that here in a minute with uh, this battle belt right here. But uh, this is, once again, the uh, Brown Buffalo Leather Gun Belt. Uh, it is a one and a half inch uh, long belt or width belt, and it can adjust up to, I think, a 40, 44, 46, somewhere around there. And it fits me very, very well. As you see here, you have some very nice buffalo leather in a brown type of color. They also have it in a uh, black as well, if you'd like that. And these are their new Western belts. This one right here is the uh, the cow's head, the steer's head. They have them also as well with American flag. Uh, Cowboy is another one that I liked a lot, but I actually wanted this one myself. Uh, I'm trying to think of another one they had. They have multiple different designs on there. And it's just like every single other belt that they have produced. You have the Ziploc type of uh, Riveting here to where all you have to do is snap it on to where you would like it And then if you'd like to take it off release this little leather here or lever here and it pulls straight out uh, Core essentials is a little bit different because not only are they a ziplock uh, Type of belt, but it also has a metal insert in the center here that will help you uh, hold your belt up and everything while if you actually are running it with a gun or anything like that, which is what a lot of the original ones they had come out with was used for was actually something to carry or inside the waistband or outside the waistband carry a firearm. Uh, very, very interesting company overall and had a lot of very nice things on it. Once again, this is one that you more would wear in a normal type of uh, usage such as just Levi's or, you know, whatever else you might wear every day. Um, like I said, this is one and a half inch belt, very nice quality and uh, very durable overall. Uh, we wore it today a little bit while shooting and I'm not for certain if you can see it in uh, the actual uh, reviews while we was actually shooting some firearms, but it held up uh, every one of the guns actually put on it perfectly. Uh, I think I had a drop leg on one of them and it held it up fine. Couldn't tell the no difference with it, but they're just some very nice belts overall. And I will leave a link in the description below to where you can go straight to their website and check it out. Like I said, they've got everything from dress, uh, dress uh, belts to uh, battle belts to gun belts to anything that you could think of moving on a little bit here is the garrison one and a half inch um, this is a brand new one that they have sent me that i have not had on yet but uh one of the original ones that they did send me was a one and a half or uh, 1.75 battle belt that i have wore for a very very long time now I think they come out with uh, with this one right here about around 2019, and they sent me one to review, and that's actually what I have on right now. If I can get it off right here, I'll show it to you all. Um, the belt in general is exactly the same as this one, except instead of a leather, it's a nylon type of get up. And like I said, I have wore it every single day for almost, if not three years now. And you can see, it has wore a tad bit on the size to where it's showing a little bit more of the belt instead of the blackness of it, but it is held up perfectly. Um, as you can see here, a little bit of rubbing where I actually have it on a uh, uh, actual battle belt almost 24 seven and I wear it on duty. And this, is, uh, this has been a great belt overall. So I'm glad they sent me another one, but this right here is more of a testament to how well their actual uh, belts are. 
Like I said, I've wore this day in and day out for three years straight. There hasn't been a day, maybe besides one or two um, days of the entire time that I have not wore this belt because every day I wear a belt even on duty and this is what I've wore uh, throughout pretty much everything. Uh, most of the time I'm actually wearing a basket weave uh, police belt on the inside of, or on the outside of this and I have snapped it onto this and it has worked perfectly for me for three years now and I do not plan on taking it off or changing it anytime soon. Uh, like I said, just some very, very nice quality stuff overall and you just can't hardly beat uh, for the price range about 70 bucks for this one, this or these two are the same, but for this one or this leather one here, 70 bucks is bad, hard to beat. But guys, if you have any questions about the Core Essentials, uh, any of their belts, please leave, leave a comment in the section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. They're just some very, very nice belts. And as you can see, I've about wore this one to where it, it looks rugged, but now it still works perfectly 100% of the time. And I would not replace it for about anything else. And they're gonna be having another new belt come out soon and I can't wait for it. So I can't really speak about it, but they said they will be sending that to me to review as well whenever I, uh, they get that one finished and in stock. So I can't wait for that. But if you're wanting something for say a battle setup or just to wear every day for EDC or anything like that, I truly do think that Core Essential Belts is one of, if not the best belt company on the market right now for gun owners. So guys, I appreciate y'all viewing as always. Like and subscribe for more gun reviews. I'll see y'all in the next video.